Hello guys, Theo here. Behind me is my 2012 Mini Cooper S. If you own one of these cars, probably you don't know that there is a few hidden features available with this car from factory. So in today's video, I will go ahead and show you those features. Follow me. first time you stop by my channel thank you for stopping by and hopefully you enjoy this video if you do please make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when i drop new videos i drop content regarding this mini cooper and also regarding my bmw m3 that i have at home now let's go ahead and let me show you the first feature the hidden feature that is available on this car the first feature that i love is the fact that you can roll down the window and roll up the window just with your key so have the car locked right now so if you press the unlock button here and hold it you will see at one point the window is going to go down now if you have the sunroof like i do the sunroof is also going to open now this is standard with any mini cooper now to roll in up the window you do the same thing you lock press and hold and then it's going to roll up the windows and the sunroof is going to close now the rolling up the window is not standard if you want this feature available you have to code it using beamer code if you need to know how that is done let me know and i can make a video for you now this feature i use it a lot in summertime i will usually put my windows down before i leave and so that all the heat that is on the car will just go out and it's really a nice feature to use some people did not know that if you have these little things right here it actually means that you have comfort access so what those little button does is that it unlocks and locks the car so right now the car is locked if i press it one time it's going to unlock the car and then i can open it now if i close the car and i press it one time it will go ahead and lock the car that is really neat because with your key in your pocket you can go ahead and enter and exit the car just by pressing that button right there i also wanted to add that using beamer code you can actually code how this button will react for example if when you press this it only unlocks this car or if it unlocks both car and the tailgate and everything you can configure that in beamer code now i've configured mine so that it unlocks everything whenever i do this and locks everything whenever i also lock using the comfort access another feature is the fake comfort access let's say that your car is not equipped with comfort access you can still go ahead and start your car just as if you had comfort access with comfort access if you have the key with you you know i have it right now right here or in your pocket you can press the clutch and the brake and start up the car this way now let's say you don't have comfort access you can still mimic this same procedure but what you have to do first is take your key insert it here as soon as you see that you have you know accessory mode on you go ahead and eject the key and then turn the car now when you eject the key you have to do it and, and turn on the car within 10 seconds within 10 seconds comfort access will work for you even if you do not have that feature available although i do have that so i cannot really demonstrate it totally but if you don't have comfort access go ahead and try it and you can thank me later i like this comfort access feature because in the winter time like right now what i do usually in the morning is i will come up turn on the car put the heat on then go and you know take a quick breakfast and by the time when i come out the car is warm enough and ready for me to just drive off that's one of the advantage of comfort access Another hidden feature on the Mini Cooper is the fact that you have two glove compartments. A lot of people just know about this normal glove compartment right here, but there is also the stop one. So if you just press it, it will go ahead and open. So you can store a few things. This is where I keep some of the mask and some cables, but you can keep anything in there. So a lot of people don't know that this one exists. So that's another hidden feature that you have on this Mini Cooper. Is this hidden glove compartment one thing with the mini cooper is that it has a lot of circles and the biggest circle of all is this one this one will hold your navigation and your speedometer right here around now when you're driving it's kind of hard to just look here to see how fast you're going now to remedy this one there is a hidden feature where you can actually have your speed display here as you can see i have zero mile per hour right here now let's say that you didn't have it there how can you do it now on the left side on the left stock here if you press that button the bc button all the way until you see that it shows your current speed 
right now mine is not showing because i already have it selected here but if you have something else here then the speed option will be down here once you get to the speed option what you do is just let the bc button then what will happen is that whatever you had there will come on the bottom and then the speed option will go on the top now let's say that i'm driving right now let me make that so you can see let me turn on the car really quick you can see how the zero mile per hour is on the bottom because something else is displayed on the top then that's exactly how it will be for you then after that it's going to move to the top and then you can start uh, seeing your speed now i have this inactive because i have aftermarket wheels without tpms sensor that's this tpms um, sensor light i have it always on so it's not a big deal for me so if i start driving you will see that it's moving now yep as you can see yep I love it because now I can drive and know exactly how fast I'm going without looking on the left on that gigantic speedometer that you know everyone even my baby on the back can see that hey daddy you're speeding <laughs> One feature that is available on this car is the fact that you can go ahead and reset your service light yourself. Let's say for example you completed a brake change or a you know brake flush and oil change or something like that and you want to go ahead and reset that code or reset that service light or let's say that I installed the TPMS sensor on these wheels and I want to reset this light, how can I do it? Now with the Mini Cooper it's pretty simple. So if you go back to that BC, you go ahead and press all the way you go to set and fall when you get to set and fall press and hold press and hold is pretty much saying acknowledge kind of like okay so then you navigate again all the way you go to service and fall press and hold and then from there you have all these options you know let's say for example i'm doing my oil change this is where i will go ahead and reset that so if i was the time for me to do the oil change i'll go ahead and use this to reset it so that's a hidden feature that's available for users the wipers on the mini cooper can be set to work automatically now normally for that to work perfectly you need to have a sensor right here which i do not have but somehow i still have the option for automatic so when i press this button right here which has the a my windshield wiper will pretty much operate like if it is automatic as you can see right now so it will kind of normally adapt according to the intensity of the rain now the way i have it it's that i will have a pre-selection and then it's just going to operate that way and usually when i stop usually it will stop and then move it a little slower now if i want to change the speed on which they operate it's not done right here to do that i go back to that hidden menu that i mentioned earlier so i go back to set and fall press and hold and then here is pretty much where you go ahead and change that now i press and hold again here and then this is pretty much where you can you know change the sensibility minimum will mean that it's less sensible and max will mean that it is a lot sensible so since it's right here i kind of want to put that uh, oh, it went away because i was slower but if you want to change it you just press that bc button change it and that will do the trick for you the Mini Cooper comes standard with these options where you can change the light color. This is the ambient light in the car. So right now it's kind of like a green color. And if I come here and press this button, going towards the mirror, like pointing, that way not pulling, but actually pushing. If I push it, it's going to change the color here. As you can see now, it's going through different colors. So if I want to have it, let's say I will want to do it blue. Let's go all the way to blue. So if I like the blue, I will do it. Now, if I want to change the intensity of the blue, I actually pull it. Now, when I pull it towards me, it's going to make it brighter or less brighter according to the level that I was in the beginning. Hopefully, this video was helpful for you and you learned one or two hidden features that you did not know about the Mini Cooper. I personally found this feature after owning the car for two months since I bought this car you know in two months ago so if you have features that I did not mention please go ahead and drop a comment so that I can you know learn and hopefully make another video where I add more features for other people to also utilize so again thank you for watching and if you like this content make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button so that I can grow this channel again my name is Theo and thank you again for watching see you on the next video